Well, again, so this time I am uh, making a, a English uh, poker streaming, and uh, I have registered uh, like two forty-five men sit and goes, and I'm waiting on on the lowest fixed limit cash table. It's very early in the morning, and uh, just a few seconds I will load up the track here because I'm playing on poker stars. The only only site where where uh, tracker is still allowed and it's not a bad site like uh, I had like uh, some difficulties uh, with the overall field of uh, people on this frequency but uh, no it has gone better and uh, I, I can't claim a breakthrough but uh, uh, I, I'm happy and uh, I, I can continue on poker stars as well so the tracker loaded and uh, this is uh, like 25 cent 40 man 40 45 man syndaco and 50 cent for mm, 50 50 cent uh, 45 man syndaco is also loading up so so soon uh, soon we will uh, have a, a poker stream going on this is just starting Sorry, I'm checking the cameras because it's like uh, this software is very nice, but sometimes if I use this webcam option, uh, the webcam is uh, hiding the tables. It happened the last time when I did the stream in Estonian. So I'm uh, turning the volume lower of the laptop because uh, this uh, computer sounds will disturb us too much. So here, uh, here we have like nothing in early position. Uh, five three suited but it's uh, we don't know anybody it's not a place to get uh, fancy on the first hand uh, uh, we just fold uh, because we don't know these people and it's uh, it looks like it's going to be a long session if I don't fall out these tournaments can take up to two hours and more and if you win it takes like two and a half hours almost uh, I probably don't win but here we can mark these people like as uh, as bad players, uh, they all limp in uh, the sign sign of big weakness, and uh, I expect this field to be very very soft, and others will play join. It's uh, it's maximum forty five players. It usually fills it always fills up to forty five, and the fifty cent one is also starting soon. So I'm uh, I need to get uh, to comfortable stakes. I don't have any money in real life at the moment. I have like fifteen euros, uh, fifteen dollars. Here they smash in the in seventy five big plans with uh, anything uh, and he gets lucky and whatever. So you, the level of skill is really low, but uh, I need to get comfortable to a place where I don't risk too much. Uh, I don't. I need to be comfortable and take less risk. Be more social like this poker stream. And take less like big risks, the danger of solitude, the danger of aloneness. People don't like it. People like social behavior. We talk about your life, like they understand where you are with your life. So this is what I'm trying to do, and I hope this uh, web camera is also working. But the main focus, of course, is on this um, on this poker table. And here we get three to win more than eleven. I think we can afford a call, even though the three bet there is a raise call and three bet. If he doesn't four bet, it's like it's okay to call. I think this hitting a set, of course, uh, stacks them these people. And uh, if we don't hit a set, we still have some chance and uh, we shall boast of skill. But uh, more than likely, somebody has a better hand uh, with the jack on the board. But uh, what? Well, let's see how much he bets. Uh, he, he checks and but now the ten is. Pretty bad card for us. Flash draws are calling if we try to take it down. 10x is very likely in the range that is also probably calling. If we make it very big, the flash draw is still calling. So there's like if maybe we hit the five or we not improve, but uh, uh, it's not so. Now he bets half the pot uh, a turn. I think we just let it go this time. I think we could afford the call pretty. And the 50 cent one is also starting, so we will have more action, even though the cash table is empty at this time, the fixed limit is not so popular. And here also, <coughs> Jack Hughes in first hand, 
For then here did the other person puts the river with the flush hits and of course he has the flush most likely. So so this uh, is 45 uh, women, so it's pretty nice, like I think seven people get the money uh, and uh, well. So we have now ace check offsuit um, on a small blind one person has limping. This is unknown people, they also limp in, I can mark him as weak player. And this one raises pretty big, so... Could, if he could be doing it with, uh, with, um, with weaker uh, hand than ours. But it's pretty difficult to play it from out of position, and I think I let it go this time. But with as good argument, uh, well not so much. Maybe I, I expect him to be quite tight. Yes, he, he could some argument for three betting, maybe, but it's a big risk. Uh, so let's wait for better spot against such a weak field. No need to take such huge risks. I think uh, if the wheel is soft, and we can look for very good opportunities to, to get uh, get our money, get our stack. I think there are better spots. I think. So here in fifty cent. Uh, Tournament and also weak player limping. So we, we should have some age against the field, I believe. They're mostly like people who don't take this game seriously. They try their luck, they get lucky sometimes. There are people who are more interested. And here I could raise it like to to five or six. Uh, but is it very worth it? They're all gonna call and I end up in a bad spot out of position very often. So I just completely, if he raises a small, I can also continue, but uh, I play a little bit cautiously, I play a little bit uh, carefully, not taking big risks that might be unnecessary. So, so I just uh, uh, play, play it a little bit tight, value oriented, try to get value from my value hands and and not so much trying to bluff these people who are big calling stations uh, and uh, not taking big unnecessary risks because uh, our stack is still very weak it's it's very early phase of the tournaments uh, and uh, and uh, yeah past has proven that uh, that uh, there's no need to to uh, like it's, it's possible to get money on the bubble even with short stack because these people are so bad that they, on the bubble even they make huge mistakes and so you have a huge chance even if you end up uh, with a short stack on the bubble so it's more effective to wait for good hands and uh, now unfortunately there's a there's a break uh, five minutes before the full hour so, so it's gonna suddenly make a stop to our gameplay uh, so let's see if we can get our games going there was some uh, bad regular waiting at 5 and 10 cents is limit but it's not that bad it's regular it's not so easy to outplay the regular chain and their break is big so so maybe not this and I don't have the roll actually for that one but they could add maybe some no limit to table for this five minutes so it's not that boring I think because both of these tables are like uh, on hold for, for five minutes so let's see where is this no limit two tables maybe I can add one for a few few minutes like uh, I'm not a, such a good player with the with opposition we should have some edge Poker stars is not that horrible. It looks sometimes really horrible. This site, like full of competition, full of angry people, full of uh, like people who are accusing you in sports. And uh, but here we can see there's a limper. It's not that strong. Maybe the king. So if with our happy attitude and careful play, we should be doing okay. Sometimes there's this table chat that's very angry, and uh, it shouldn't really influence us. It's also a skill to stay peaceful in push stars because sometimes another weak player. Uh, and there's look at this table chat, I knew it. There's this like, do you need money to eat tonight or something? It's like they're very accusing each other. I think uh, this proud he has this big stack and accusing other 
process. I mean, I don't know. I I expect the paper chat to be angry. Maybe he's like just nervous. But okay. But anyway, we try to for these few minutes we try to play some No Limit Two also to make it so that it wouldn't be too boring the stream. There was at least some gameplay, some action, not just me talking. Which is also fine, but, he, but here uh, we might get some action. And there's this weak pay and limping. Maybe there's some regular raising, then we have to let go, I guess, out of position arrow king too suited. We don't raise this if everybody calls or falls. Uh, we could raise and try to start the flop. But the first hand, I also play a little bit carefully. Like, uh, also, it creates a really aggressive and loose table image for us if we raise here. So let's pretend we are like them, we don't raise. So in the future we have this tight image, we can afford some bluffs uh, or we could build a loose image but, but uh, here we could bluff with our flash draw but they could have the check also and I want to see the riddler cheaply I could call a bet uh, with, our, with the flash draw and now I hit the flash so maybe bet like very small maybe they have a queen or check or uh, maybe something but it, it, it looks like a value bet. The thing with small bet is look like a value bet. And now he, fortunately, he raises. So if he doesn't have a full house, we could. That's interesting. Like we could re-raise. Uh, like twenty-two, I guess. They, I uh, maybe it's too loose. Maybe he has a full house or something. But he just tried to steal the bot. So this small bet he read it as a bluff. But now saw the strength. So like, he's the guy who would angrily typed something. So maybe he's on tilt and try to steal the pot probably from us. But he, I think re-raise would make him upset. It look, could look like a bluff the re-raise. And here we get uh, raised after call, uh, calling the small brand. So luckily we get some action. And, and I'm, I'm still going to quit this table because this um, break is ending. But here I'm holding this hand also. But we, we made some money already, like 10 cents in a few seconds, so so I got lucky on the river and hit our flush and the person tried to bluff us or or had a weaker hand that we called it. But so it's, it's also profitable, this no limit two tables, but the, at the moment I'm focusing on softer stakes with less risk, because uh, we can't lose much at two stakes. Here you can lose pretty, uh, a lot, like you can lose like two dollars in one hand. So it, this is MicroStakes Gaming and we're very happy to, to, to see that this action is continuing uh, on these two tournaments uh, after 20 seconds and here after 50 seconds. So we can quit our cash game No Limit 2 table to focus on the tournament again. So let's see if it is player doesn't sit in, we're, we're out uh, from this table and back in the tournaments. So here we have a7 on the small blind in the tournament and uh, I'm somewhat uh, concerned about the recording, I hope it's uh, it's working. I have some memory on the hard drive, I hope it's all working. So he's like, uh, he's also with Antes, let's see, they still like letting go with on the small blind, it could be a strong hand, I don't know. It's very difficult to play as an offsuit from small blind out of position. I, I would have hit top air, but you don't know that. And difficult. Okay, and here with, with no limit table, we hit the hand actually. So I raised a big, but uh, I could lose my, my hit and run money. But uh, uh, I won some, and then I could not now lose it. But it, I think it's profitable. In the, I give up on these flops. I think uh, it's like. He hits, he hits his range and we see that uh, he's gonna call and uh, so let it be and uh, let him have it um, and uh, we just end the table also even though it's profitable but we don't have a roll actually we have like three dollars yeah. or four dollars and, and um, it's uh, it's okay to quit the table we had like plus plus two cents and, and which is a lot actually if you look at the win rate it's like i think we made a lot of money like uh, let's look at today 
Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't show. It's not interesting. If I, I want to show them, it, it, it doesn't show. It doesn't count today because it was so early in the morning, maybe. Ah, I'm filter. I have filtered it to fix things. So let's put all that. Let's. So we actually made like 50 big plants per 100, uh, so we won 5 cents, so we made a lot of huge win rate uh, in it. We step river win, but, uh, uh, but uh, yeah, I want to focus on a little bit lower stakes at the moment, which is possible, and children are sleeping, so I might have this 2 hours for work up early in the morning, I can't get more sleep, so I might have this 2 hours plus that is required to win this tournament. Uh, of course, uh, most probably I'm not winning, but uh, it's first to have to focus. And now there's not much action. I checked on New Good Argue that uh, uh, I could play the No Limit 2, but there's a lot of action at 6 max. And uh, let's take a little bit more peacefully, maybe. And a uh, little bit uh, like less risk, more fun, more free, less tension. In it. But maybe it's too slow or maybe it's too boring for you and for me also but uh, we need to find a good uh, balance between high risk fun and intense gaming and softer stakes and uh, having fun just chatting just talking not risking the money not having to put in so much pressure and here we should have huge age and uh, we don't have uh, so much pressure and so so yeah, it's fun to just chat, just talk, and uh, and enjoy. Like uh, maybe I should practice also this talking and commenting on sports and streaming. And uh, as you can see, I'm in the nature because outside it's so beautiful. So a better mobile internet, uh, mobile thing. Inside the internet is also failing sometimes. So we have huge walls on the house. So so, so children sleeping inside so you if i'm outside there might be the case that child is waking up and where is father but so early they usually never wake up so i have at least uh, two hours uh, which is necessary so so it's nice maybe practice is commenting on sports and uh, talking and and this good this art of streaming maybe why not uh, share our world and try to this, do this sports comment and sports talking so here these people are uh, very active in my way playing a lot of pots and I, I'm playing more tight and um, not maybe playing so, so much but uh, but he had like he hit the straight on the river and the other had parents uh, for sevens I think then you could argue for raising it to Right, to make it more interesting, but it's a little bit too loose, actually. Like, I know you want action, you want fun, you want me to be involved in a fun way that is low, low stakes, but it is a decent tournament. I, I don't just have fun, I take a little bit more serious, I take it a little bit seriously. Of course, you could just gamble at the casino and raise a lot of hands and do this, but I try to be a little bit more professional. It's it's arguable, you could, you could like have fun also. But uh, I try to play the best I can, maybe less fun, maybe for you. So it's not just computer games; it's just for money. It's also for money. Maybe. So yeah, we need to find the balance. We have just three dollars, and this is what we have basically. So, so <laughs> well, technically not, but we're gonna get three hundred after after less than two weeks. But uh, but we need to. We are a little bit realistic about like having fun here could cost us the whole bankroll and so we, we need to find the correct correct balance in micro stakes game and about our life and I'm performing I'm well early in the morning both I'm alone with two small children both are sleeping so so extra tension too much gambling too much risk could cost us emotionally the mindset the mindset is also emotional so it would cost us emotional uh, emotion down swing if we make mistakes here unnecessary big risks unnecessary big mistakes it could make us emotionally depressed and this is not something i want i want to play good i want to play small risk have fun 
and uh, so not uh, making costly mistakes. So yeah, of course, I know people would wish to override this tax completely and not care about this one dollar, losing one dollar, but this is not where I am at the moment in my life. I, I care about this losing one dollar. And it is okay, it's good when you, you care about the dollar, you, you, you care about your, your money. The value of the small things in your life. Uh, it's not just the casino by going there, throwing in a dollar. You value it on one cent and uh, you take it seriously. And uh, it's, uh, I'm also I'm worrying if the stream is working or not. I should have some memory now on how to. Ah, it has been on 20 minutes. So it's not that big a file and uh, hard drive. No, it's uh, the open source streaming program is providing us some, some nice uh, nice gaming uh, gaming content, which is cool. And here, if everybody bolts, I can get his money, but he knows it, and he just like you know completes. Uh, let's see, I could raise him up, uh, but uh, you need to be careful. It's also nice. So let's see, do we want to bluff him not? At the moment, like like uh, you could argue for raising free to scare him off, but I don't have a hand really, so let it be, let it let him be. Things we don't get, we haven't get any hands yet, but uh, we had these pocket fives, but uh, there were many people in the hand. And here we had ten six with it, we could raise it to to four x. I think it's fine. We could also check. Uh, but uh, uh, we could get his quite a big pot actually, 150 almost. Uh, we can make a note that uh, o only the opening power did the Here somebody goes all in, so we can have odds to, to risk and just uh, reach all in. Oh, the fun is coming up. Early, it's like 6 o'clock in the morning. Today I see the first sun, like, like it's amazing. In the country such as the sun is disturbing our view to the computer screen, but also it's such good air outside. Um, so here uh, we, we have 8, 6 suited and only 30 people. And so and he might be angry because we stole his imp uh, so it's not a good spot maybe to play it and uh, here we have been moved to another table with a bigger stack and the thing is like i think this 50 cent uh, tournament is turbo and the turbo structure and this 25 cent is not turbo so this 50 cent uh, actually doesn't take two hours but it's less i think it's like it goes some the system goes like this not turbo turbo not turbo turbo as the stakes increase and uh, so somebody had the aces here and won against jack 10 uh, interesting i'm not paying too much attention no i don't know i don't know i don't know, I don't know. not paying that paying attention not following other people's play maybe maybe i should pay pay more attention to streaming so you can't concentrate on every single thing. Like then, when you look at others, actually, it's like, how should I adjust, adjust? Like he did this, how should I adjust my play? So it also takes a lot of effort, and uh, it's possible. Like professional pros do it, but like uh, if you really want to win this tournament, you should do it better. But I'm more maybe into streaming, so I need to find the balance. Like too much hard focus is also like dangerous. It's like then you flip, then then you don't take it easily, and then you start over adjusting so it's good to view the overall progress the stats are helpful ah i moved and i was moved to another table this is why it didn't show you the hand uh, like somebody had aces and no it showed the aces i think ah but i didn't see the full hand ah and it shows me so uh, let's see if i could see the aces it doesn't show there so i only see half the hand or something because i already was moved to a new table so this is big nice stack and here it's turbo structure it's turbo structure so it's getting the stacks are getting more shallow already like i haven't played any hands but uh, it's 
have this decrease in total circuit turbo structure. Okay, nine, ten from middle position against unknown side input support. I know it's boring for you. The cash game is more interesting and more fun, but you, I don't really have the role for cash game. And it's nice to take this long term, uh, long uh, tournaments, uh, which are not important because the money is so low. But if you win it, you get some small money. And it's good for talking, good for social media. But a little bit too boring when it comes to action and fun gameplay. So in the future, I hope to move up to No Limit 2 and provide more fun gameplay, more gambling in a way against uh, people that I can afford because I have solid cash game history. In tournaments you also don't want to gamble so much and, and uh, risk because you, you can't really rebuy here and um, I think all is alright now. We have 27, 26 minutes. Mm -hmm. I hope to upload a bit later uh, to, to to the Facebook channel or something the stream and maybe also to YouTube to share at Poker Television uh, I don't know I, I might but that reveals my stream name but then maybe it might be worth the risk um, if I see the stream line There's a player at fixed limit at Poker Stadium, you will like find out my screen name then. But does it really matter? Like, it chances pretty low to meet them at the, at the table, actually. But the social factor is pretty nice. And, uh, it does matter that there isn't people actually listening to my streams. So. But on Facebook, there's more people listening to the streams. So. It's a nice thing to think about. Here, uh, we're already 18 deep lines uh, shallow. So we need to start to thinking uh, how to increase our stack soon and how to... Okay, so we get an action and the ports in the fixed limit table uh, at the bottom right corner. I hope you can see it's very small. Maybe you don't. Mm, I can see it. But the first hand we call it. This is like aggressive, not very good play. Uh, it's fun to play against. Uh, maybe you see, maybe you don't. I have now king nine off, he raised the call, and on this pub you could call one that you could call. <laughs> I think he's paralleling, like, but no, we hit the flush draw, so uh, it's like uh, we could even call a river back there when we like, had pocket lines, so we had lost the river, but it's, it's okay. He should bet the turn, I guess, but he's scared. Like aggressive, not very good player, but maybe he has improved his play. Then we're losing money. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, we're a little bit tight against him. Here is this King King X, it's not so profitable. Maybe flop, we pick it up because you're flopping in this type of game. Okay, we say it's nice, it's good board, but as we could be flopping. Like call him down, maybe leave him. Like you guess value hand is nice for him to but now what does he have? Like pure blabs, we beat only we beat only pure blabs, but uh, we call him out. He has the power that we can always call him. So we don't beat anything like six eight we beat. So hit the power and turn. So good for him, he got some money that he wanted. Overall, regarding to our statistics, he's a big loser. Now, luckily, we take down the pot on the, on the flop. So here, we, if he raises, we raise with ace seven suited. And we hit the nut flush draw, but any pair is crushing us. So. But he folds the flop again. He limped free and we leave. Now we have pocket eights. If there is three bets, we could have to rebluff him, but we have a strong hand actually. Now he dunks into us. It's a little bit worrying, he could have 10 eggs. And now we hit the straight on the river with some pocket eights, so let's bluff him. Let's. And what he had, he had 
10 x no here it is clean so he was blocking us from the fog so this is like a little bit bad player aggressive but not playing very well does he hear blood razors on the fog i don't know which juices like I think we let it go now. He could be airballing us and air blood air raising a little bit. You know. After he calls his flop, his A6 was just all the turn, I guess. And if he had uh, just good air, good time. Now with A6 uh, top air, we, we could just call down because race could be scary for him. Now he checks, we bet. Uh, uh, because this is uh, scared of the uh, low pair, probably scared of higher pair. So, so we earn back some money from him. It's predictable, I think, this opponent, even though the rate is big, but he makes some big mistakes sometimes. So, here uh, we hit the weak uh, middle pair uh, with no kicker, uh, the worst hit. And he checks back, and uh, like, uh, if he has a straight, he has a crash now, but uh, it, we value bet very thin on delivery, but he had the uh, bottom pair. And so this is fixed limit uh, heads up. Fix limit I'm used to. It's a little bit dangerous actually against this player actually, but it's fun for you probably, but not that fun. No limit is more. No limit is more fun because it's no limit. And because much more unknown happens that here is like one bet at, at a time, and now we get three bet with a six off suit. I think we can call one bet on the flop, and if it good for him, good for us, like we get free card, you know. Here we have 10 big blinds deep and pocket 3 is uh, it's almost a push, but I called it this time uh, because we're in early position, middle position. Uh, like you could push it uh, because you don't get a better chance maybe, but uh, I still called it that I wait for it. A little bit better opportunity because a bigger bear call us. We're in trouble, we're in crushed, we're crushed and if uh, like ace jack stuff like that called us. We're not also in that good shape to get like 55%. So, a little bit, it's a borderline. You could push that real three, but you would also fold it, I guess. I fold it, maybe it's a mistake to fold that. Here I'm giving up, and like it's very suspicious to bluff here. Yeah, he usually wants the fold, but I guess. We could sit out the, the fixed limit, but also the one tournament is ending, so if we don't improve, the, so it's maybe keep the fixed limit table, and uh, if the tournament ends, I don't know. If both the tournaments have ended, I end the session and stream session. But we have some time, and here I pick up pocket ends, and fixed limit I have king nine off, even three bets, uh, good three bets. If check raises, I'm still folding, I guess, I, I think it means some. Against the last draw, we aren't in it. And here I, uh, I don't like the min raise, and to be honest. It's a little like a, uh, if someone pushes, like the thing is, someone could try to steal from this move size, and if he pushes, we can have a very good hand, we can call the push. Called and we hit the set. Okay, so how much do we bet with our set? Let's bet like like this, like five move, for example. And he folded up. We have to bet something, you know, that this we might draw on from his hand by straight or something. And now we have king check and cut off, and last hand we also raised. So we could raise, but Thing is our stack is very very shallow, so we we can't can we really afford like four x? I think it's okay to fold it being this shallow, uh, and there's maybe people behind us who could push. Even though it's like a, it's a debatable, but because I raised last hand and better flop, I fold it because uh, I don't want to lose a best message at the moment. And, uh, and he then I get suspicious. Yeah, like there's I would have a top pair, but. Uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, maybe like 3x here, but uh, I still could get 3 better pushed by these guys. So I think uh, I smile and fold it. Uh, here I get the uh, bet on the turn and uh, fold him. And here uh, we are 10 lines deep, and but early position I fold this. And 
Okay, and he speaks to Nikaius, taking his money back from the city for... Where, yeah, we're already in the minus side. So he checks back and we hit the pair and the queen. And let's bet the river, I don't know. Maybe he suspects a bluff and calls us with Ajax. He does. So nice for us. He called us with King High, I'm remembering. And C found too. Let's see, I think the tournament, this one is not going very well. This one is okay, -ish, but we're also at the very bottom of the, of the player thing. So. Let's see if the tournaments are ending. We're ending our stream session also. Oh, we pick a base king, so good waiting for us then. Stream session is 35 minutes. So, so here we push, we have like 10 big blinds deep, like he could be doing this this loser directly. It's good opening. We might get called with this queen. Like you could argue like he's only a little bit stronger, but let's see he had queen check. So people recommend to push this there. And yeah, we double up there. Like there is a good argument for folding stuff there, but it, like is if he's like a regular he does his pocket pairs and and this queen plus, but he's he was quite loose and we we're quite desperate. So and he did it with queen jack and called us with queen jack so people are a little bit softer than i thought so now we have ace jack and we fold i guess because we don't have the odds like uh, we built up a good stack now we just double up and no so it's borderline <laughs> and this ace king i almost want to call that this was like what's calling like pocket pairs and ace queen and only <laughs> but he called us with queen jack off so so the push was pretty nice actually. <coughs> and let's see if we if we won money. Oh we still got a slightly negative in the fixed limit. But we owned him but the rake uh, is actually like uh, we lost like uh, we could see how much we lost actually in the fixed limit table. We lost like two cents. <laughs> so we break even <laughs> But, uh, but it's, it was nice crushing this guy and learning something and and uh, let's see like how much did we pay rake if it shows like we play paid uh, four cents in rake and lost two cents in total so actually we were up two cents or something without the rake yeah. and in left like maybe we then we have good and one in more maybe but we we, we did pretty well over there. so it's nice fun money not bad result uh, i would say It doesn't give us the free ticket to do it, does it? Like, it doesn't say you have one uh, free ticket. Maybe we haven't played enough, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> maybe they have the whole time. Or maybe I won or is it one? But maybe they have different times. Like, mm. yesterday evening I won one. And okay. Mm. Here I fold this king queen off. Like, he raises again, last time we fold ace jack. Like, we could see he had pocket ten, so lucky for us we folded this check. So it's good, like you never know when they have pocket pair and then it's horrible when you push it with Asex. If if we're against the pocket pair. But luckily we doubled up so so we have good chances. And here we we're at the bottom of the play pool, but we also won the hand, so it's not that bad. And he had ace check, we had King Queen and him oh, somebody had King, so you need to be careful. If it's nine nine max stable, you need to be careful when it comes to pushing with Asex and King Ace. And people wake up with pocket pairs. People wake up with strong Asex. So you need to be careful. And no spoiling for you. This uh, this second toes. Hey, I accept my Samsung check and <laughs> accept my daily check. And okay, now we're 15 blinds deep, and it's not profitable for us to push this, I think. Or race, it's, we are very shallow, and so let, let's let it go. And here also we are very shallow, we just let it go and wait for a good cards. I know it's boring. So you might get a taste of our current situation, or we're end of, it's end of months, we're out of money. The social money from government, we're out of it. <laughs> <And> <laughs> we need to make a better, better money plan and uh, 
uh, yeah, so Minecraft is gaming, we're out of money in real life, and it's super fun, but uh, in the future we want to have money to buy stuff for us, and uh, good motivation, and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's better money management is required, so the social, they're giving us money in the team, and, but uh, we're not using it properly, and we're not proud of it. We give a lot of it to, to girlfriend, our wife, uh, whatever she is, mother of three children, loved girlfriend, uh, wife. Uh, so we give a lot of the government money to him, her, but uh, it's a uh, like still uh, it's a so it's not a proper use of money to use it on food and and waste it and not use it for poker career, but. We need some money in it, so we need a better plan. So here is with pocket sixes I want to fold actually because with 16 big hands kings, with very tight tile raises we could push, but it's not worth the risk and it's not this time because it's very tight tile according to statistics. Here somebody takes money with raise ups. Uh, but what's up? I guess. Okay, we're shallow and stack also, but we're like in the middle of the bull strategy here. So we're 11 and 7 get money, so not yet this, this push. Uh, we'll just fold. This is loose, but yeah, we could punish by pushing, but somebody already pushes, so it's a sure fold. Here, 16, 15, two fets, two friends to pay. <sighs> I just give up. Like it's like we're very shallow and not many options. If he we raise, he calls. We're like in very big trouble here. I uh, just wait for big cards at the moment. So oh, here it's very shallow stacks. Just an intim. So like Martin is weak players. We just have to give up. This. Uh, somebody pushed, but we have to give up this uh, six two soft anyway. When it comes to strategy, but it maybe this gaming stream is also <laughs> we have hit. Uh, we had, uh, we, if we call, we had uh, two pairs. Uh, maybe it's just not strategy, but uh, just for fun, but uh, the stream. But uh, you need to keep a little bit seriousness, uh, just some strategy at least. Otherwise, it's just like random casino gambling. We had this 10 and some of that pocket eight, so. And they would have hit the flush in the river. Anyway, so they did hit the flush in the river, but uh, so our two pair wouldn't even go against them. So you need to be careful. Uh, Wait for your spots a little bit, which worked out for us one time. So, yeah, we're still in playing, we're still playing in the tournament. So, even if we lose, it's a good experience. So I hope to end up in the money, but that is hope for that somehow. Now we have pocket eights, and if nobody pushes, it's a sure push, it's a must push. If somebody pushes before us, let's see, this is a loose card. If he min raises on addition to the fixed limit payment, oh, you have very high fault to see that, so let's open it. We hit middle back, so here I want to push. And here we hit back against the fish, hitting middle pair. We got some notes on him, he steams sometimes. Somebody call us, we say it's Jack, we blocked it, it's straight, and we win, we take down, we double up with pocket eight. We're in the game again. So it's a push or fall phase, and we win. Uh, but he didn't have such a big stack, it was, it was very small call to have such a low stack, I guess, because we didn't win much. Okay, mm, here we check, even though we are not winning. But we have like, let's say, what we get with 4x, we might win with 10 x maybe. And we have some implants, so I could check that. Like, betting is maybe better than check. Or is that uh, he had queen? So we didn't have the odds of outs as we had that kind of thing. We could bet. Like here, let's see, here 
Tem um caigo rococó da Sadmele Smoas. Ah, we had like this was the extremely short step. But we still did win. I thought it was a bigger step, so my mistake. I thought it was huge, but, but it wasn't. So even if we lost, we it, it wasn't wouldn't be a catastrophe. So yeah, I I misread the stats. I guess I didn't look. But we get a big blind and the antes, so it was nice both. But the small pot then again. So this one is a, a bigger fish, a, a more bad player in the the fixing table now. We should have bigger edges like limping. Mm. We should have a good edge. I've noticed sometimes tilts. Mm. Okay. But now we called on very dry flop, so we should give up our bottom for the moment. Not interesting for the stream anyway. So here we hit the middle, middle pair, and we played it out. Last choice calling, goose is calling against queen. We are crushed. We could check all the river maybe. And with the flush choice trying to flush, but we had a better six, so we would have lost. He would have called us. I think he wouldn't call this big better six. So we're losing a little bit of some mathematics right there. So let's bet out. We have bottom pair and open and uh, the fold. So nice uh, that it can fold this type of flops. It's very comfortable for us if you put if we can fold it. Out. It was all in here on the tournament and we we fold here we. Hit the open end, uh, to the top pair. He could have a straight. If he has a seven, we're crushed and the tanks. So, but we still call probably crushed against seven. But uh, he could be bluffing sometimes. We have all stop all, I believe. We're not running very good, but I think we're crushing them. He calls. It's close. We could check or, or fold. Let's check all the river. He could have a busted straight draw. He could have a ace edge. He had a straight. Yeah. He's close on the turn. I could give up. I could tell him. Okay. Here we have a, just seven bets deep. So. Let's put it in. We don't have much options. We're last also, and he could call us, but we have sevens. We have his check. We could. We need a flush. Oh, no. Ah, he had the bigger flush choice. This is why we didn't have odds. And so we're out, and I think 50 cent tournament didn't go too well, sadly. So, and here we're also. Not winning, but the overall gaming experience is nice as well. Okay, and we're playing winning poker, I'm sure of it. Like seven seconds, ace check, the seven big place. If you can't really fold it, I guess he has ace check, like over cards are calling, but you, you have like you don't have much room. Like soon you have five big lines, six big lines, you can't do much, you can't just wait for everything. So, yeah. He didn't double up anymore. And but we're in the uh, non-turbo variant. Where is the, I hear it, but three-way this cash game fix game table. We could add another fix game table now, or maybe it's too boring otherwise. Mm. Okay, we hit top pair, though kicker, so maybe we win some of the money back. Maybe it's very dry flop. So one of them call. He could have two pair. He could have sets. But other than that, we're just crushing. I think. I, I, ho I think. Uh, I hope, and I think it's most likely he calls down this bigger pair. If he calls down this middle pair, which is King Seven, nothing. Nothing I can do. Like, okay. 
Yeah, we do see some nine being placed to sleep. Look at that for the fallen, fallen maybe. Oh no, no. This bullshit's like we're gonna get all called by other cards, so we do fall this time. <laughs> Okay, the bush I think, but the thing is it's raised and the rest here is pretty trash. And uh, yeah, there's another guy also with another guy too, so now we get raised with king on the relays. Yeah, we're gonna double fall. And now we're heads up against him, so we can't start another table because now we're heads up. His queen is checked, so our juice is saying that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I give up here with the fall, it makes it might get suspicious. We should try to flood. Yeah, if it's too damn intense, I end the stream. It's already more than half an hour at the stream. 51 minutes, so wow, time flies. So let's see if we can sit on the higher extreme table and then, but if there's this aggro regular sitting uh, no maybe not that but uh, maybe no 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 but we should let's see there's a fish also so or we do it maybe not I don't know there's a uh, like an aggressive player and the fish and it's higher limit so or should we play like no limit this is even more high stakes so let's play this higher fix limit and lose our bankroll <laughs> because there's uh, this option now oh no it should be profitable now it's not that profitable it's the strong player but it's marked as not as as not that strong He's insulting and maybe he leaves because we went good. So now it heads up against the higher stakes against the bad players. We do is quite aggressive. Moods and stats show that he's quite aggressive. So he calls the flop. Uh, what to do when he raises the turn? Also, maybe check back, go to the relay, then get something out. But we crashed the thing from the turn once again. Like we could play the turn, but still could be calling the turn. But the, the thing is, it really sucks to get raised on the turn, so that's why I check. So it's some unknown player and uh, another bad regular to check. So he rates the course, we could put a hit and run the stakes and then. <laughs> yeah. But let's keep playing till we get there. Uh, oh my god, stakes kill me. The tournament here with a very shallow, almost the last place uh, deck again. But it's really playing okay, we're just not getting much cards. We could start always chances to play more loose, but we chose not to. Mm. Maybe I could play more loose and print it, but, but in my experience, you can just wait and look at the last tournament, like we, we, we end up pushing. Pushing for pocket sevens, uh, seven being placed split, seven being placed split, so and end up called ace, ace check. So it wasn't that horrible our approach actually. Oh, here we push our eight with one limp and we push our ace, ace ten also with the eight being placed split. So if don't they don't have higher ace, uh, we're in good shape. If somebody calls this pocket pairs, we have some chance. Oh, and the, against the limper, I think we have good chance, other, uh, unless he's trapping. So, so, and with the poles, let's see what the limper does. If he's trapping or not, who's a strong hand? I think he's not trapping, given his stats. So let's mark him as weak player. And he calls us with queen 10, so we have good chance to win it. Unless he hits a queen, and we win it. Very weak play by him, and we double up our whole stack. Mm. So, the stream is not ending, we're continuing with the tournament. I could end the stream. Uh, another weak player joins the fifteen table, so maybe more action somewhere. I want heads up action is super nice, actually. 
Better is possible at this interior level, but we don't have the cash actually even to play more of it. But uh, it's always very weak regular shading, very fast regular. We fold out things and whoa, we would have it uh, <laughs> at the counter and we would have made you know pounds. Thank you for playing with me this week. Um, he sit out when I when I join. So, so ah, so he's nice to the doctor. Doctor. So that's just <laughs> so a nice bit, nice chat also sometimes. So here we could trade that there's like three limbs, but he is like tight person, so we not, might not be ahead of playing this, and we're out of position. But we had very strong hand, so but we didn't know that in advance. So. And here it's interesting in the tournament thing because what did we miss? A very loose player opening, I'm on calling, and we have Queen Jack off 17 people as deep. So, can we afford it to call? Here we are. I think we have a value bet on the river unless they have backdoor a flush. But they post fold and we take down a huge pot on hand pitch. And so, so here, can we afford a call? Let's make a wicket 1 to 7 almost, so maybe a call. Like, let's see, the check as a trap pick. Let's say I think he shoves a bluff. I think if he calls, we're out. I think if he if he folds, I think we try to get this guy stacked. We I think it's worth the risk. Let's just close our going. I think call and call this pure bluff and we hit the full house. Ah, but it is the river we sitting in here, but we made the right call. And we are still a little bit stacked left, but it looks like a bluff is this huge push. So here we get a call on a flop from a very, very um, tight person. So I cannot afford this. Let's see. He might wrap bluff the river. No. I think he's calling with pocket bear, and uh, but uh, yeah, he called this loose as loose this time. And this is three off. Against the same guy, we try to win our money back. The big line might get involved, but uh, he's calling us loose. So he looked folded even. So we're up to seven big lines again. Such a huge loose bluff by him on third pot. So let's mark him as uh, like big bluff. Here can afford a call. There's this like table, nice, nice table check for white. And wow, I'm surprised. Get the room, you two. <laughs> Someone angry, of course. It's a social situation. Ah, the Brahmin is very angry. He lost some money. Ah, he lost money with Queen 10 Devil Queen 10. Man. So now, with our winnings and the higher stakes, we're up to in our stream today. Says maybe not with the tournament, but in cash game we are up 27 cents, and the tournament is minus 50 cents at the moment. It might be minus 25 cents, but yeah, this is the stakes we play at the moment. We're down to 5.5 big lines deep. Let's see what. Good stream, correct call with Queen Head. Got sucked out on the river by by Ace Orion. So Orion got lucky on the river. So it's a good for them. And here at the at the fixed limit heads up table, fixed limit six max table, we get the heads up action from big player. And tournament we have Ace Jack offsuit uh, with five big blinds deep. So we it's a sure push no matter what anybody does almost so we if he pushes we push if he doesn't push like is it tight so but uh, nobody does anything so we push it for sure and he what he did he hit and run this so uh he hit and run this so we just folded three so he took the blind and 
here I think we can open very loose this can get suited against the speed good it looks like a good player as well the thing is we don't really have money for the sticks and here we get called we have like 1.3 dollars and we get called by pocket pair and it's not going well for us unless we hit no we don't hit so the tournament is over we we let's let's hit and run this five cent uh, ah yeah we hit the we hit two pairs let's say hit and run this uh, this slim table and then end the session and slim. we hit full house on the turn maybe somebody has a flush maybe they have a flush draw maybe they have king x maybe they have um, pair let's bet the river and we win we mean we might uh, get positive on the session in the end we had king top pair so let's see we're almost even because of the cash game winnings is it profitable for us to call against the two fish the three fish it might be get us if we hit pair or two pairs we might get a lot of money against the weak uh, ranges they make a lot of loose calls so i think we just call now and uh, if we then don't get heads up action on the lower stakes we just end this session on the big line if the big line comes to us so so let's say it's an hour of streaming and not very interesting for you maybe here i think it's profitable to call maybe not profitable to raise it's very interesting these very weak players are, are playing okay if i would have known that i would have raised three but uh, now we might get outthrown our top pair okay he tanks he, bet, he, he bets into unraised pot we raised he could have weaker he could have stronger jack uh, then we'll then we we'll lose we could lose against stronger jack we, we could win against flash draws he could have uh, straight now i think all the river i guess he had flash draw so i raised and bet was correct and we might get it uh, positive result for the overall session because we won such a huge pot again we're up in cash game for almost a dollar yeah and we'll we're down in the tournaments for 75 cents but in cash game we're up 96 cents so it's total almost we're in total we're positive for 21 cents uh, earnings in one hour 20 cents earning in one hour so unless we lose this hand ah there's a high chance of losing this hand we, we try to hit and run but we hit ace king so we might end down the hour session we get three bet by this very weak player by this very tight and weak player so unless we hit our ace or king <laughs> we we still end up losing now in the session we get three bet and he checks back the top so could he have ace jack could he have ace queen ace king uh, oof, very nasty bet um, i don't know ace jack is now crushing us ace king ace queen we draw against can we continue what we get one to four point five what is that like is ace jack right is queen is king we check right i guess i guess <laughs> yeah yeah so so he's the what is three bet stats like i don't know i do fall to this to this angle and then he, he stole our winning session i guess but what to do we hit ace king hey we're still positive six cents uh, so yeah thank you for your angry table chat and uh, <laughs> have a good uh, session and uh, so yeah we managed to win at the higher stakes and uh, we're up six cents uh, <laughs> in one hour so yeah not bad and fun gaming session fun gaming session and uh, let's send the stream thank you for listening and uh, enjoy your life and uh, have fun gaming this is microtex gaming and signing out